So there it is. We got five new trees for a mini orchard. And here, this is a quarter of what I want my mini orchard to be. And uh, in total, we got 10 trees. And on this group of trees, we did some pairings. Uh, the first pairing was the apples. And my brother kind of knew that they did good together, but we kind of read a little more. And the Anna apple and the, and the dorset does really, really good together when it comes to pollination. And so they help each other and give you better yields and fruit. So that's kind of what we did on this uh, segment where we got these trees. Uh, the cherry, it's all by itself, um, but also there's two cherries, so now they'll help each other with the pollination. The peach, same thing, but the two peaches I got are good for the desert, and they have like, they're kind of like one of the best ones that we were reading so far. So we got the two, and also they'll eventually help out with pollination. The pears, I wanted to get one last time, but they didn't have them, so this time they did, and I got two of them. Uh, I got a Florida home pear, and then I got a 20th century Asian pear. Um, the Florida home does good by itself. It's self-fruitful, and uh, 20th century is self-fruitful as well, but also the Florida home has uh, specifications of if it's planted with another pear, it would give it a lot of help in producing. So that's why we got two pairs. Um, I'm not sure 100% if the two different types of pairs will help each other, but I have been looking up if an Asian pair and a regular pair would cross pollinate and help each other out. And there have been some uh, recordings that it does, but we're gonna test it out ourselves. Um, and then this apricot right here to my right is self fruitful, but it gives very small yields compared to if it's plant to another apricot. And so that's what we did. We pretty much got plants so that they can pair each other and then they can pretty much help each other in cross pollination. Even though uh, a group of these trees are self fruitful and they don't need another tree, having another tree will help it. And another thing, I have been getting comments and recommendations of certain types of fruit trees I should have maybe like a different type of tree, a fig, uh, if I can plant oranges out here. Thank you for all those recommendations. And like I said, this is a quarter of the orchard that I want itself. So we do got space for 30 and plus more trees that I'm gonna plant out here. In the meantime, this is what we got, but I am thinking of like expanding and planting all these other different types of fruits themselves. So I keep those recommendations in mind and as we move on and clear out that section for another 10 trees, we might give it a go for something else. Because these trees are pretty much what we're planting this year. Um, as I clear that out, somewhere in the midst of winter, we will be looking into what will be our next set of trees for next year. But thank you for joining us on this episode where we do our second planting of our mini orchard. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. If you don't like something, let us know. Ask questions, and we'll get back to you. And if you have recommendations of a tree, of maybe there's a certain type of tree that I should try out, that it might be good for this area, please let us know. Please comment that. Uh, like I said, I take those suggestions. And in the meantime, I have to clear out the area. So once again, thank you for joining us on this episode.